hi there friends welcome back in this lesson you're going to learn about different types of activation function in previous lesson we have learned about activation function why do we need them what they are and this is a, just the extension of the previous lesson only here we're going to learn more about different types of activation function okay here we're going to represent these activation function into mathematically graphically as well as programmatically okay so firstly we're going to cover these two portion mathematically and the graphically and after it we're going to apply some programmatic skills in order to you know represent this activation functions okay so stay tuned and let's get let's start it so the very first function which we're going to discuss over here is sigmoid activation function here you can see it's how its graph look like it's s shape curve okay and here it will going to map the input to a value between 0 and 1 okay and this work so super for you know doing the binary classification okay so that in order to predict the probabilities between two values okay so you have to apply the sigmoid activation function in output layer okay it it works in output layer in order to work for binary classification okay and how you, you can represent this sigmoid function mathematically here you can see on my screen it is one upon one plus e, e raised to the power minus x okay so this is a way how you can represent the sigmoid you know activation function mathematically the disadvantage of the sigmoid activation function is that it has the problem of vanishing gradient problem okay in order to tackle that we have some more other types of activation function which we can use them okay so the next type of activation function is hyperbolic tangent activation function here it is just similar to the sigmoid function but it maps the input value between minus 1 and 1 in the case of sigmoid it maps the value between 0 and 1 but this hyperbolic tangent activation function it maps the value between minus 1 and 0 uh, minus 1 and 1 okay and here you can see how we can represent this activation function mathematically okay and this kind of activation function are basically used in hidden layers so that we can you know recognize the complex patterns complex relationships from the data very easily which we're going to work you know uh, for training the our neural network okay so you can compare this activation function with sigmoid function we're going to have a lot of advantages a lot of disadvantages as well okay but yeah they are most suitable in order to you know model the more complex pattern as compared to the sigmoid activation function okay next we have another kind of act activation function which is called rectified linear unit activation function in short you can also say relu this is the most commonly used activation function whenever you're going to look after uh, that how to build a neural network in google search you're going to find this particular activation function again and again this is the mostly common used activation function used in hidden layers okay and what they do basically that uh it defined the maximum of zero and the input value okay it will going to return zero for the negative value suppose if you have some values between minus one minus two then and then you know zero one two something like that okay minus two minus one zero one two something like that so the value will be zero 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 then one two all those negative values will be converted into zero this is how this value activation function works so somehow it also solves the problem of vanishing gradient problem okay but there is another problem which you know occur over here because we are completely ignoring the negative part okay so you can say it as a dead neurons this kind of problem we are facing it and in order to you know cop this problem we're going to have another variant of this relu activation function which is known as leaky relu activation function this is just a variant of this relu activation function where we're going to have a slightly slope for the negative values and here what we're going to do in the case of relu we are making the negative values to zero but here in the case of leaky relu we are multiplying the negative value with some alpha values that alpha value is completely decided by us okay like you it can be some 0 0.01 0 0.02 just you have to understand the complexity of your problem your data set and you have to adjust the alpha value accordingly okay so this is how you can use this relu and you know and this leaky relu activation function 
okay it, it is basically solving the dying value problem which we have in the case of relu problem okay next we have a uh, sort mix activation function okay and these are activation function which are commonly used in the output layer for multi class classification problems okay sigmoid works fine for binary classification that tangent activation works fine for uh, that binary classification this kind of activation function the soft max activation function works fine for multi class where you're going to have you know uh, a single neuron for each classes in the output layer at that point of time we're going to use this soft max activation function instead of using you know this uh, sigmoid or tanner activation function okay and this is how you can represent it it's this is its mathematical representation here you can find it and uh, yeah so these are different types of activation functions which we have learned over here now we're going to discuss how you can apply them programmatically okay so i hope it will be more interesting okay so let's get started here you can see i have opened the google collab notebook here i have already created a program for it for different types of activation function and here you can see the very first thing which we did is to import the dumpy and microlib libraries then i've created a x variable which we're going to return the sequences from minus 5 to plus 5 then i've created functions for different activation functions such as sigmoid where i just used the mathematical expressions which i have already created it then i have used the tennis function where i've just used the tennis inbuilt function offered by numpy library then we got the software function again that mathematical expression then we have relu and the leaky relu in relu as i said, mentioned it will ignore all the negative values with the zero whereas in the case of leaky relu we just have to multiply negative value with the alpha value with which is 0.2 over here then i just plot all those you know my different kinds of activation functions and this is how it looks like sigmoid function as useful it is s shape relu function it is ignoring all those negative values then tanh activation function similar to the uh, sigmoid but here it is taking from minus one minus five to positive five then we got the softmax function and then leaky relu covering the negative slopes as well so this is how it looks like how we can achieve activation function programmatically i hope it is clear to all of you so in our upcoming lesson we're going to learn more about neural network till then keep learning keep exploring and stay motivated